was the son of a pizza man. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today I thought we would do a fun summer pizza. So we're gonna do a peach and gorgonzola pizza. Uh, I've never had fruit on pizza necessarily in a savory manner, so uh, the peaches are probably the only sweet thing on it, but I think all the other ingredients will kind of counteract that, and I'm thinking that it'll taste good, so let's go. The first ingredient is gorgonzola. So the next thing we're gonna use is fontina cheese, which uh, is very similar to mozzarella cheese. Next we're gonna add some chicken. I just sauteed this chicken in a saucepan and uh, seasoned it and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have some kind of protein on this pizza. Next, I'm gonna add some caramelized onions. Uh, it's really easy to do caramelized onions and they're so good. All you need to do is take some olive oil, um, some sliced up onions, and then some water and then saute them. It takes about 40, 50 minutes, but the result is delicious. So the last thing we're gonna add is the star of the show, these peaches. Uh, they are very thinly sliced because I wanted to make sure that they uh, cooked uh, in time. And I'm going to add some more fontina cheese, just a little bit on top. Okay, so I'm going to get this into the oven about 8 to 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, so the pizza's out of the oven, and this is what it looks like. It looks delicious. So, did I tell you what I made? Nope. Okay, so this is a peach and gorgonzola pizza. Okay. So there's peaches, uh, gorgonzola, fontina, and uh, some chicken for protein. <laughs> because. Because why not? Because why not? Uh, I'm gonna do some finishes. Uh, so this is a balsamic glaze. I just took balsamic vinegar and heated it up in a saucepan and just reduced it. Okay. So. And I'm using this weird syringe because we don't have small bottles. So I'm just going to... That's our syringe that we use to fill our uh, popsicle maker with. Yeah. Uh, not anymore. Not anymore. So now we're going to have savory pops. Do a little drizzle. Come on, drizzle. You had to do, all right, you had to do all that. Hey. Um, and then I'm also going to add some hot honey because... Why all right. Not? You're gilding a lily. No, I'm not. So much drizz. I like the drizz. Oh my god. So the only thing that I'm really missing would be like a green garnish and arugula would be awesome, but I forgot to pick some up, so. This is very much a yellow, brown, dark brown. Yeah, pizza. but it's a great summer pizza. Here we go. So I'm thinking it's gonna be tasty because I think the it's gonna be like cheesy and um, sweet a little bit. Just like what you want summer to be, cheesy and sweet. Yep. And sweaty. What are you doing? Nothing. You know? Come. I am literally dripping. Hold, please. Yeah, where's your tank top, dude? I know. You gotta get a so, son of a pizza man tank top thing happening. So I think this looks really good. It looks yeah. really tasty, so let's just try it. Let's get in there. Good. Um, but? No buts. I'm not tasting the peach. The peaches, so my concern was that the peaches would be too, I didn't want to cut them too thick because I, didn't, I wanted to make sure that they like softened up a little bit. So I made them really thin. Um, but no, I can taste the cheese. You can definitely taste the cheeses. Yeah. And I think the, the balsamic uh, drizzle as a nice little kick of acidity, because otherwise this is a really rich pizza. Since there isn't any sauce, there's no acid there. I think it's still pretty rich. Yeah. Like, it's good. We're definitely like a lot happening here. Um, 
I'm also glad I added the chicken. Yeah, I mean, um, I think like the chicken is like more of the savior because it isn't, it is kind of bland compared to. I mean, so Fontina's like mozzarella, so it's kind of like a mozzarella, and then the gor gor gorgonzola is obviously, um, it's got a little kick to it. It's like more, more of a. It's funky. Funky cheese. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What, it's do, good. what, what do you thing, think? I would. I think the thing is, is like some of these things need to be sort of adjusted a little bit just so that you can taste that peach. Because I think the peach and the gorgonzola sound really good together. I think that's almost something where like there only needs to be like three ingredients. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the peach can stand out more. Yeah, I was just concerned that uh, since there was no sauce and no protein that I in the original recipe, um, I just wanted to add it. So. Not a bad pizza. Just not featuring the one thing that I sort of thought I might get, which was the the peach. I'm getting, you're getting a little, little hint of it. I can get a touch of taste of it, but it's kind of like, it's kind of blending with the gorgonzola, sort of. Okay. I don't know. It's well, like a tanginess of the gorgonzola. Anyway, fuck. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, I would probably, yeah, I, I agree with you. More peach flavor, so maybe either more peaches or just thicker slices, so you can kind of taste the, the peach when you bite into it. Um, I'm not sure that needs both cheeses necessarily. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, I, I it's, it's overall, it's a good pizza. So uh, if you try this, uh, let me know. Uh, it's a good, it's, I think it's a, it's a decent summer pizza. It's definitely not your normal yeah. sauce and cheese pizza. So uh, you should check it out. Yeah. So. Have it, eat it. Um, Change yeah. it up and see what you'd like to do. How about, how about more words with my mouth full? Mm, please. So thank you guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. I need to hit this subscribe button. And then don't forget to uh, like the video. And until next time, Smiler, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever